Hey you guys and welcome to my channel Roxy Nicole TV. I know y'all gonna hear that I have a lot going on. Y'all been wondering where I have been in my sit down videos. A lot has happened. I have an upper respiratory infection. No, it's not Kobisha, okay? No. Um, I feel a lot better today than I have um, the other four days. I'm eating a Bosic pear. Y'all know how we are with our fruits, y'all. But I hope y'all can get what I'm saying past the suggestion, the congestion, and past me smacking. So, of course, I got a story time for y'all. Y'all, today's story time is about my first orgy, y'all. I told y'all, your girl used to be fast in the ass. And it wasn't just no me going out trying to find trouble. It was in my six-year relationship. Remember I told y'all about... Um, me keying the girl car and all of that, her girl. So, let me hurry up and eat my pal. I'm gonna be right with y'all. It's so good. They got these at Walmart, they're so sweet. I have that little seed in it. You can literally eat the whole thing. And there's that little pit. And this was the top. See? Out of that whole pair, this is the only little piece that you can't eat. I mean, if you raw like that, girl, go ahead. <clears throat> but <sighs> let's get into this orgy honey so it was my 26th birthday mind you me and my second girlfriend we got together at the end of 2007 new year's was in a few days um and i told y'all we spent new year's together i was staying with my granny at the time and kind of staying with my granny and also staying with my friend jeremy because him and one of our mutual friends sheba we used to always go to the clubs together they was introducing me to the gay lifestyle and anyways fast forward because it's gonna be a whole nother story honey um one thing when you meet someone you go down your bucket list of something that you really wanted to do and a threesome was on my bucket list so <clears throat> my birthday as y'all already know is july the 19th my ex's brother his birthday was the 14th. No rocket. His birthday is on the 14th. So we had, uh, they threw me a birthday party. And I mean, it was all of her friends, all of my friends. They had me a full fledged stripper party. Honey, 
the girls was uh, was making it rain for some change, honey. At the house, back in the day, house parties was so different than parties nowadays. It was nothing to have a stripper party, especially when you had friends who were strippers and girl, it was live, all the way live. They was charging at the door. I get off work. You know what I'm saying? Go get my hair done. She giving me money to go get my nails done. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, oh, you know, this, you know, she treat me down for my birthday. So um, I get to the house, you know, it's decorated. You know, everybody wishing me happy birthday, da 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 course the strippers come out i have me a dance whatever i see some of my friends from school back then some of the girls that i was really hanging out with and we ultimately just was drinking enjoying the girls you know it's um it's a hybrid party so it's women men gay people it's everybody everybody having a good ass time Around this time, the strippers are kind of like winding down, giving out personal dances, whatever, whatever. So, mind you, you got the DJ in the corner of the living room, just gotten it, getting it live all outside. DJ. So, mind you, I told you that some of my homegirls had came that I hang out real thick with. So, we drinking having a good time people in and out because people some people outside are smoking some people on the inside drinking some people getting lap dances the whole while you know my girlfriend at the time is in the kitchen she's getting the food ready you know whatever and <clears throat> so we all having a good time i'm checking on her everything is pretty much done and it's shot o'clock, people taking shots, last little bit of lap dances are getting done. So around this time, you know, people are giving me birthday gifts. I'm unwrapping all my gifts, saying my thank yous, whatever. So we just ultimately had a good ass time bumping, popping, and shaking. So everybody dancing everybody drinking everybody full everybody having a good ass time so you know my girlfriend come to me and tell about i have a surprise for you but you can't get it right now so i'm like okay girl don't ever fucking tell me that you have a surprise for me and don't tell me because i hate suspense like i love like surprises I hate suspense. Don't tell me that you got something for me and don't give it to me right then. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if it's a surprise, let it be a surprise. But don't keep me in suspense. So she was like, I got a surprise for you. So it's going to be a little later. And I was like, what is it? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm like, what is it? And she's just like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, little mama. Don't worry about it. I'm like, okay. So, my homegirl um, is telling me that she's about to get ready to go. So, you know, I walk her outside. You know, some of her friends are staying behind. However, it was this one girl. We always used to hang out real, 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 real tight. So, she was, you know, outside. You know, she was upset. Her, her boyfriend was getting into it and all kind of crazy shit. So he left. My homegirl left. And my homegirl came back inside. Mind you, by this time, you know, it's going live outside. Folks arguing. You know, young black folks that get drunk and have a real good time, it don't last a whole long time, honey. I give about a good four, five, six hours. By the end of the night, somebody fighting, somebody upset, somebody dragging their girlfriend. Some, some, something crazy is gonna happen, especially in the in the south. I don't know why, but honestly, it does. Any club scene, any party scene, somebody gonna get into it with somebody. So, <clears throat> people are leaving. My my ex at the at my ex now had came to me and she was like, I want you to pick out a couple of your friends to stay behind for your surprise. So of course, 
the girl that got into it with her boyfriend, she she came in, fixed her plate, and she left. Cool. One of my other homegirls, she was still sitting on the couch, you know, laughing and talking with the DJ. Hmm, okay, so something transpired that I didn't see. So she laughing and talking, kicking with the DJ. So I'm like, oh, okay, so I said, well, I'm just gonna call her Angie, okay? So Angie and Kiki, okay? DJ's Kiki to DJ, Angie. <clears throat> so they laughing or whatever, putting up the equipment. And mind you, the birthday boy, which is my ex's brother, right? And his girlfriend. They're just, you know, sitting around. She you know, sitting on his lap, kissing or whatever. And so, mind you, that's four people that I see that are sitting down as everyone is leaving. The lights on, you know, the strippers are gone, whatever. So, mind you, my ex's brother and his girlfriend, they run to the store. Okay. My ex put me and my friend that's kick, kicking it with Kiki in the shower. <clears throat> so she was just like, if it's okay with you, I want to make one of your fantasies come true. And I'm just like, wait, what are you talking about? Mind you, by this time, I'm, a, I'm tip, okay? I'm a little tipsy. I was just like, what are you talking about? She was like, I want to make one of your fantasies come true. And I was like, in what fantasy is that? She was just like, I know that you always said that you wanted to have a threesome, but I want to spice it up and give you an orgy. I'm like, bitch, don't play with me. Mind you, y'all, I'm 25 years old on this day. And I am, oh, at 25 you down for whatever at 25. Mama, this ain't the video for you, okay? Don't watch this video. So I'm like, okay, you know. And me and my homegirl, I mean, she's a lit, she's, bi she's bisexual, but I didn't know it at the time. But, you know, she get down with girls too. So we get in the shower, we bathing each other. My ex in the DJ, she took the DJ home to go take her equipment back and come back. Girl, they come back with backpack, backpack, okay? The strap packs, you know what I'm saying? So we get out the shower, whatever. We, you know, mind you, we ain't do nothing but like wash each other down in the shower, kiss a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But this is my friend. I wasn't really trying to go there with her for real, for real. Hold that thought. So, you know, we get out the shower, we lotion it down, you know what I'm saying? Putting on the smell good, you know, 25, putting on the bath and body works, honey. You know, oiling each other up. You know, I put on me some sexy lingerie. This bitch's asshole naked. Boom. Okay. So, I don't know how long we was in the shower or how long we was oiling each other down, but my girlfriend and the DJ get back so like i said backpack backpack you know they in they in now by this time my girlfriend and my girlfriend brother and his girlfriend come back so they got my ex got music on the overhead speaker or whatever and so she tells me that my my girlfriend at the time tell me to come to the room she won't lay down the rules honey this should have been red flag number motherfucking one. Red flag number one should have been laying down rules. Number one, everybody know if you're going to do a threesome or an orgy or anything like that, you have to be free spirited, right? If you're uncomfortable with something, you let it out when you be talking about it, not in the middle when things are about to get crack a lacking, okay? So, of course, she laid down the rules. She was just like, I'm open. She was just like, I want to do this for you. Whatever you want to do, I just want to be the first one to please you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. So, you know, she tell me, like, I really don't want 
anybody really strapping you like that. That's not what I want out of this for you to make me feel comfortable. And I'm like, sure, I don't really like that shit like that. No way. That's fine. And I told her that I don't mind about her strapping, but she can't put her mouth on all these bitches. And if she wants to be pussy, just let me know. Give me a flag. And so we had like a little cold word. And we was down with our rules. So that's fine with me. We kissed on it. And I kind of threw her on the bed. And we handled our little thug fizzle. While she is. We you know. Did our little thing. And she going back down on me to give me some more head. My friend walk in the room. So while my girlfriend is giving me head. Right. My friend is spectating. So if any of y'all know what spectating means, she watching, girl. She's over, she's voyaging right now, voyagering, okay? So she just watching, you know, I'm about to get ready to climax, whatever. I feel somebody sit on the bed by my head. And she reached down and she kissed me. And while I'm coming, me and my friend are kissing, right? Red flag number two. So after I come, I stop kissing my friend. I pull my girlfriend head up and I kiss her. And my girlfriend said, can you give us one more minute and we're going to be out. So my friend leave. And this bitch still naked. And somehow she done found some heels. She got heels on now. She, <laughs> I mean, I guess she knew what the fuck it was. I don't know. But she go out and this I want to argue. So she was just like, so what was that? And I was like, what was what? She was like, y'all, you kiss, y'all kiss real sensual like y'all didn't did something before. And I'm just like, no, we've never did anything before. That's my friend. I, I don't even look at her like that. And so... She was like, well, I don't trust it. It looked very suspicious. I was like, what's, how does it look suspicious? If I'm coming and I'm kissing, it doesn't matter if it was you or her. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But, of course, it's going to be passionate. I love you and you're pleasing me. You understand what I'm saying? And so, that was red flag number two. I was like, look, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to offend you. This is new. I'm excited about what all is about to happen. So we leave out the room. So she turned the lights off. Somehow somebody done got the damn red lights in the lamps, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? And so on the still on the chair over here on this side of the room, you got my girlfriend's brother and his girlfriend she ride him everybody naked at this point right she ride him you have my friend on the couch and my friend is getting ate out by the dj right so i go and sit on this side of the couch on the back side you know how you have this side of the couch and then the part that you see on sit up sit your butt on i sat on the back frame of the couch so my friend right here she get a out i'm sitting on the back frame and my girlfriend is um I'm motioning for her to, you know, come on in the living room. You know what I'm saying? Let's get in a mingle. Be my anxious ready ass, okay? And so I'm, you know, motioning her to come on in, you know, let's get things started. I know y'all probably thinking like, so you mean to tell me that, let me calculate. You had an orgy with your girlfriend, brother? Just keep listening, bitch. Your messy ass. Keep fucking listening to the story, okay? So, my girlfriend, she come in. She pulled me down off the couch and she started strapping me from the bed. Okay. So, my homegirl, she nut or whatever. She was like, I have a little game. How about as the music go off, we rotate? So, sure. 
So I'm getting banged out by my girlfriend. My friend is getting banged out by the DJ. And by this chant, by this time, my girlfriend's brother's girlfriend or side chick or whoever was getting banged out. Okay? So the song switched. I get on my friend's face while she is getting banged out by the DJ. My girlfriend is now banging out her brother's girlfriend or whoever she was while he getting hit. I know. Keep listening. So, mind you, my girlfriend is got her strap inside this woman's ah! now. I'm back on the back of the couch. I'm back on the back of the couch. Get my pussy ah! ate by my friend. And mind you, my ex is in mid-stroke, <coughs> okay? And some in her just look back. <laughs> And saw me getting pleased by two of the women. Girl, she yanks my ass. She pulled her dick out that motherfucking ah! pussy. Yank my ass off that fucking couch. What the fuck do you think you doing? How the fuck? Da, 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 da. I'm looking like, bitch, this was your idea. This was your idea. How could you be mad and this is your idea? <sighs> this is your idea, bro. Why are you mad at me? I knew y'all said something going on. Red flag number motherfucking three. Okay? Do not ask somebody to do something that you cannot handle. Girl, we argued and fought from I would say 3.30 in the morning to by the time we left out of that room arguing these motherfuckers had fucked so much they were fucking parched we went in that fucking living room bitch the sun is coming up through the fucking blinds and these bitches are fucking thirsty and goddamn hungry, laughing like they didn't had the time of their motherfucking life. And I've been arguing with this psycho fucking path on my goddamn birthday night, getting ready to experience the best time of my fucking life. And I didn't even get a chance to even fucking experience it. I didn't. Do not, I repeat, do not have a threesome or an orgy with an insecure being. Please do not. It will damn near ruin your relationship. And I can understand if it was me pressuring her, asking her for, girl, this was a birthday present to me. And you mean to tell me for me, for that price of that surprise, I had to argue with you for three and a half fucking hours. I was so young and so goddamn dumb because if that was me now, I would have left her ass there and I would have went in there and fucking, we was damn near broke up after that anyway and I lost a friend. I, she didn't even, we went to college together. I couldn't even hang out with her. And she was a damn good friend. <laughs> I was so upset. <clears throat> Girl, they left and went and got I hop, laughing, kicking, all kind of shit. They had the time of their life, and I was so upset. My eyes were so red. I came out, my friend was like, Girl, you okay? Y'all, we she's like, We took a break, and y'all was still in there arguing. They was making a bet or how long we was gonna be in there fucking arguing. I don't know who fucked who, what all happened. I have no idea. Cause I was in there arguing for my damn life. Girl. So this story time is about the orgy I didn't have.
It was for me, but I ain't get a chance to participate because it was with a fucking maniac. Y'all, if y'all are ever in that predicament, make sure y'all are not in. I don't recommend it in committed relationships because if someone experience or see something that they're not okay with, they are going to hold that shit over your head. That's just my experience, y'all. But y'all, if y'all have had any crazy orgy sexual experiences, please let me know and leave it in the comment box down below. I would love to hear them, y'all. I would love to fucking hear them. But anyways, y'all, if you know that I love you, God loved you, and have a great day. Bye.